The goal of this video is to express the second order partial derivative of u with respect to x in terms of xi and eta. Initially, the function u is defined in terms of x and y. So we need to introduce some functions xi and eta, which are themselves in terms of x and y. There are two steps to this process. First, we are going to express the first order partial derivative of u with respect to x in terms of xi and eta. This will give us some expression here in the brackets. Second, we are going to take another partial derivative of this expression with respect to x to arrive to a second order partial derivative of u with respect to x, where u is in terms of xi and eta. First thing we need to do is to draw up the tree diagram of the chain rule. u is a function of xi and eta, where xi is a function of x and y, and eta is a function of x and y as well. Next, along the connecting lines, we are going to write the partial derivatives, where the variable in the denominator is the one on top, and the variable in the denominator is the one on the bottom. We are interested in partial derivative of u with respect to x, where u is a function of xi and eta. Looking at the tree diagram, we are going to collect all the terms leading to x. Partial derivative of u with respect to xi times partial derivative of xi with respect to x, plus the terms on the other side of the tree diagram, which are partial derivative of u with respect to eta times partial derivative of eta with respect to x. This was the first step of our process. Next, we will take the partial derivative with respect to x of this whole expression. Let's redraw the tree diagram of the chain rule in a slightly different way. Instead of function of u, we're going to draw a blank space, sort of a space holder for whatever function we choose to put in there. The rest of the diagram is identical to the one before. We are taking the partial derivative of this whole expression. Note that I will be using square brackets to indicate that I'm taking the derivative of whatever is in them. We are going to apply the product rule first. The partial derivative of this whole expression is equal to the partial derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative of u with respect to xi times the partial derivative of xi with respect to x plus partial derivative of u with respect to xi times partial derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative of xi with respect to x plus partial derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative of u with respect to eta times partial derivative of eta with respect to x plus partial derivative of u with respect to eta times partial derivative with respect to x of partial derivative of eta with respect to x. To see the product rule application clear, let's say that this is a and b. The derivative of the product of a and b gives us the derivative of a times b plus a times the derivative of b. Next, we are going to apply the chain rule to take the partial derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative of u with respect to xi. We are going to use a tree diagram for this. Before, in our space holder, we have put the function of u. In general, we can put any function in there, even another derivative. In our case, we are going to put the partial derivative of u with respect to xi in the space holder and, like we did before, collect all the terms with respect to x. Let's look at one expression at a time. The partial derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative of u with respect to xi times the partial derivative of xi with respect to x. I'll keep the application of the chain rule in the green color for consistency. So this equals to the partial derivative with respect to xi of the partial derivative of u with respect to xi times the partial derivative of xi with respect to x times the partial derivative of xi with respect to x. Plus, the terms on the other tree branch, which are the partial derivative with respect to eta of partial derivative of u with respect to xi times the partial derivative of eta with respect to x times the partial derivative of xi with respect to x. This expression over here doesn't have any chain rule and is equal to partial derivative of u with respect to xi times second order partial derivative of xi with respect to x. In the same way, this expression is equal to the partial derivative of u with respect to eta times second order partial derivative of eta with respect to x. Next, we are going to use the chain rule on this expression. 
Note again that even though this is a partial derivative with respect to eta only, because we are taking the partial derivative of a function u, which is a function of x and y, we will have to look at all the branches of the tree diagram. Let's put this function into the space holder of the tree diagram and collect all the terms with x. The partial derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative of u with respect to eta times the partial derivative of eta with respect to x equals to the terms on the left tree branch, which are partial derivative with respect to xi of the partial derivative of u with respect to eta times the partial derivative of xi with respect to x times the partial derivative of eta with respect to x plus the terms on the right tree branch, which are the partial derivative with respect to eta of the partial derivative of u with respect to eta times the partial derivative of eta with respect to x times the partial derivative of eta with respect to x. I'm going to move this whole expression down here and plug in all of the terms that we have just expanded. Before we go any further, recall that this expression becomes the second order partial derivative, but this one is just the product of itself. Also in this expression, the order of the denominator doesn't matter, so they are identical. Let's simplify this expression. This becomes the second order partial derivative, and this is just the product of itself. Over here, this becomes the second order partial derivative with respect to eta and xi, and the rest is the same. This becomes the second order partial derivative with respect to xi and eta, and the rest is the same again. Over here, this is the second order partial derivative, and this is just the product of itself. Notice that these two expressions are the same, so we can combine them raising their coefficient. The final expression looks like this. That's it for this video. Please let me know in the comments below what worked for you and what didn't, so that I can improve on any future content.